Hey, comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, you're with me, Mike Spider Slayer. Welcome back, everybody. And I'm getting ready to do another comic book review, and it's a good one today, guys. Today, we're going to be talking about The Walking Dead, issue number 120. That's right, guys. <laughs> this was an awesome issue. Let me just tell you, the best one yet. This had the most action. It was hilarious, and it just leaves you with a great cliffhanger. Uh, the cover here is very cool. It's got Michonne on there with, again, her katana blade. And you have Negan and you have Rick staring each other down, getting ready for this boxing match. And it's just them poking jabs at each other left and right. And you wonder who's going to win. And when you're reading this book, you're flipping through it the whole time. And you're sitting there, holy crap. Holy crap. And then in the, and towards the middle of this book, you are laughing your ass off because Negan is hysterical. Now, in this review, there's going to be some spoilers. So, guys, if you have not read this issue yet, I suggest that you go ahead and read it and uh, come back and watch this review after the fact because uh, there's just there's things in here that I just you can't help but spoil if you want to talk about the issue. Uh, so here we go. The writer of the book is Robert Kirkman. Uh, obviously, we've known that already. And the cover or the art is done by Charlie Adlard. Uh, the art in this book is always consistent. I think over the years, uh, Charlie Adlard has um, improved his artwork, uh, you know, changed things up a little. Um, I've noticed now in these later issues, Carl looks a little bit older. And I think what What's going on is I think they're trying to um, make him look older to uh, try to fit in the way the Walking Dead TV series uh, because I feel in the Walking Dead TV series he's outgrowing the part a little bit uh, but again the artwork is really good right here uh, we can see some parts where uh, people are getting blown up um, here we have a page uh, where a random guy is getting shot in the head, which you always love to see in the Walking Dead series. Um, here we got a two-page spread of Rick, Carl, and Andrea escaping a building that is blowing up. And um, I think that's all that. And then there's one really good page in here because Maggie makes her return. Uh, this panel right here. Uh, where you see the expression on her face and uh, kind of, you know, you kind of feel for Maggie here in a second because she's taking on a leadership role. So what do I think of this story? Okay, the story is awesome because this whole issue is nothing but action-packed. And when we last left off, you got to see um, what happened when you last left off. You got to see uh, the doctor um, get bitten by Holly. And you never found out what happened to Holly. She's just the zombie. And the book opens up and um, we just sit here and we see her getting her arm getting, piece, you know, a, a chunk of her arm getting bit off. And you're like, oh shit, well that's a way to start the book. And, and then right away, what happens next is a big grenade comes out and it's just like boom all over the place. And freaking Heath is the one that's caught in this. And his glasses go flying. If you look there, you can see his arm gets all blown apart. And you're just like, damn. So the book hits you right away. And and freaking Negan there is just like, well, this is great. I'm having a blast. He's like, he, she, he says so many flipping lines in this book. It is awesome. And Heath is lying there with his freaking arm, uh, his leg all chopped apart. And our doctor is sitting there trying to uh, save Heath. And meanwhile, she's bitten in the arm, and you know that she's going to eventually turn into a zombie, but she's their only doctor, so she's trying to save lives left and right. Um, uh, Dwight makes his return here. He's working with Negan. Does he, uh, is he eventually going to uh, join sides with Rick and Jesus in the group? Well, that you'll have to read to find out yourself. Um, there's just all kinds of casualties in this book, and we can see that... Rick can't find Carl or Andrea. He thinks that they're stuck in a burning building and they finally get out, you know, before the uh, building blows up. 
and there's just all kinds of other things. And, ne and Negan is just enjoying the hell out of everything that is going on uh, because he's causing all this chaos and mayhem and everything like that. And the line that he says is hysterical. He goes, my dick is so hard right now I could crack steel. He says, I should wrap it in barbed wire and call it Lucille 2. When I heard that shit, I was laughing so hard. And uh, he also continues and he goes, it's like being a double, double amputee at a peep show. I'm just sitting here trying to figure out how to suck my own dick. <laughs> this guy is crazy. You never know what's going to come out of his mouth. It is hysterical. And the interaction between one of his men or whatever it is he tries to agree with Negan it is hysterical and you have to read it to find out exactly uh what he says um but all of a sudden there's some retaliation that happens and you find out that it's people from the hilltop and one of those people is Maggie so she eventually makes her return here and she kind of turns the tide a little bit to make Negan uh evacuate uh and to retreat and uh, as the issue come, goes along towards the end, we see that um, Heath is actually survived the grenade. He's going to be okay. Uh, but our doctor, Denise, she is the one that you can see is having a tough time dealing with the bite on her arm because eventually, she, yes, she's infected and she's going to turn into a zombie. Uh, and then at the end of this issue, you see something that happens to Rick. So uh, that is the conclusion uh, to The Walking Dead issue number 120. Now for the All Out War series, this issue was phenomenal. The best one yet of this story arc. I give this one a 5 out of 5. I highly suggest you guys read this issue. Things are really starting to heat up now. Casualties are starting to build. Tension is starting to mount. And I cannot wait to see what happens in all this. And Negan is a villain that I don't want to see die because he is one of the greatest villains in comic book history. He is an instant classic. He's only been around for a year and I love the guy. It is awesome to see. So guys, again, pick this one up. Five out of five for me. So, guys, as always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. And until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Don't forget to leave those comments below what you think of this issue. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye.